So welcome back to the channel. We have placed all of our first floor wood eye joists um, and we are working on attaching them now, but they're at least all on and um, we're now working on attaching them to the, the rim boards and to the sill plate and getting them all set where they need to go. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, how you're doing this? Well, because we, we started on each end because of the way this structure is, we're going to end up with just one little spot where we're, we're a little bit tighter than a 16 inch center. And the reason you want 16 inch centers is because on a, you want them to go here so the seams on your plywood are in the middle of this. But we have such a short difference that it might be that we might, as long as we have at least three quarters of an inch of plywood on one on both sides, we can still split that seam a little different than right in the middle. We'll try to make the middle, but I've got one, uh, one set of joists that are a little bit closer together just because of the way I, I put it together to make sure it was square and, and uh, everything lined up well. I could have done from one end to the other, but I wanted to have the ends finished so that I could make sure they're square before I start putting anything else in. So, so that's what I did, and we have our little scrunch here. It's only, should be 16 to edge, and it's only an inch short. It's an inch short of that. So I think we'll be all right with our plywood. So I'm happy with that. Now I've just got to set all these on the, each side, cut the excess off, and we'll have our rim boards up and ready for uh, floor decking. So basically one of the, the steps that we're going to have to complete is per the structural drawings we have to put um, blocking in between the eye joists at every eight feet minimum and so that's one of the things that we'll have to be doing after we get all of our our eye joists in place um, you can see on the end here we've got blocking um, we only had to do what 32 inches on 32 center 32 inches but what i did is i blocked so that every stud in the wall as a block below it so when we when we put this wall up every 16 inch stud will have a block underneath it so when i nail the uh nail the 16 uh the, the six by six by wall it'll be able to not only block, uh, nail here and here into something solid other than just plywood back here we're going to have to block these every 32 inches but we're going to use our our uh our uh, eye joist pieces that we're cutting off to make that blocking uh, there and we'll do one in the middle right up the middle all the way through and then we'll do one in between the outside edge and the middle all the way up so uh, and it looks like we have plenty of eye joists for me to cut up to do this we uh, seem to over order a little bit on eye joists well, you, it's better to have more than you need than not enough. Yep, I agreed. So, once we get all of the um, eye joists placed and nailed in, and all the blocking that we need, as well as the rim boards here, because this portion will have a cantilever, so he's going to set it up so it has the two foot cantilever over here, and then once he has this side set, he's going to go over there and cut that side to the lengths that needs to be because we've got two cantilevers over there as well. And then today we got um, the sheathing, the floor sheathing for our first subfloor delivered. So that's exciting. So that's what that stack is right there. Um, and so once we have the subfloor ready to go, we will take the plywood sheathing, it's a 23, 30 seconds, so basically three quarter inch tongue and groove uh, plywood sheathing. We'll attach it. Um, we'll have to glue it down with subfloor uh, construction adhesive on top of each eye joist as well as nail it in um, per structural recommendations or requirements. So that's what that stack is right there. We also have concrete for our caissons for the front porch and the back porch um, column foundations. And so we're coming along, moving up pretty fast. Just yesterday we had no eye joists. And between yesterday and today, 
we've got all of our first floor eye joists set and ready to be nailed down and put in. So this is the rim board for the cantilever, correct? So you've got a little bit more than two feet so that you've got some extra length to work with for attachment. Yeah, it's attached to this rim board. Can't put the you know, double cam lever, but because we uh, don't have the poles yet, you can't put this cam lever in here. And I can attach the uh, rim board right here. Because structural called out for a double joist at the location of all of the edges of the cantilevers. So we're going to have right here where the cantilever starts, we're going to have two of the wood eye joists running to the middle um, to support that edge of the cantilever. Uh -huh. 